Welcome to another Mercy Moment Emory episode on the elliptical. Join me today, friends, as I unpack some things that I've been working through, including feeling deeply alone, feeling isolated, feeling uh, misunderstood, and just plain not understood. I think these are universal emotions and experiences that we all walk through. And I want to share a little bit because I had a wonderful counseling session with an amazing counselor here in the Springs. So thankful for that opportunity to grow and got to work through some of these things together. And I uh, can't tell you how lonely uh, this experience has felt. There's no way for someone to understand something they haven't personally experienced or if they haven't had a loved one that's experienced that same thing and it's deeply affected them. And I've been feeling so isolated in this situation with taking care of Emery, the long road ahead of us, the details that many don't understand, the gravity of the weight, the demands, pressures, and the fact that it has not being able to just step away, not being able to throw our kid on our hip and go wherever we want. We're very secluded because we can't take her out during flu season. So it's been a hard path. I want to be real with you guys. And uh, I share this to share a message on how to overcome loneliness and isolation because there's nothing more deadening to the soul than those two. It's like a one two punch loneliness and then being isolated. Not good. Hope you don't mind the bouncing. I know it might be hard to focus, but maybe just listen to my voice instead of watching this video. I want to get this message out because I believe it's essential to our culture. And I'm titling it Cultivating Connection in a World of Disconnection. You might be saying, Zach, are you kidding me? We have social media. We're more connected than we ever have been. I would challenge you there because social media. Online connection is a cotton candy form of connection that robs from so much of real connection with face-to-face uh, -face and doing things together. You can't replace that. Technology is great, but it's got to be the right medium, especially <laughs> gauging the conversation, the subject can be deadening. I know I've made the mistake sending a text about something important, wrong medium. Even video can be dangerous. So I read uh, quite a few books in my college years on the impact of media on our culture, specifically on ministry. And as I read those books, it was eye-opening. That's where I got that concept that connection outside face-to-face -face through digital media, it's cotton candy. It tastes great, but it has no substance so important friends to get face to face and to really get to spend time with someone in a shared experience because connection happens so we share experiences emotional experiences foster connection if i were to use the illustration of a power line that's hooked up to a power source and that electricity travels through the wires connection being the power source the wires that connect us are empathy. Empathy is one of the most misunderstood things of our time. Empathy is not trying to fix someone, not trying to give them an answer for their problem, but getting right down in the thick of it with them, where they're at, validating where they're at, and walking with them. <laughs> that's something that's costly. Very few are willing to pay this price, but the price of connection the power line is empathy. Empathy and sympathy are very different. Sympathy is, oh, I'm so sorry for you. Empathy is, man, that sucks. I really feel that with you. Uh, share more of your heart with me. And listening. Listening is powerful. Listening is the key to deep connection. So two things here, friends. Empathy and listening. Just like uh, James said, uh, be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to become angry. 
being quick to listen is key number two to connection. So being empathetic, really feeling things with people, getting down in the hole with them, where they're at. Number two, listening to their heart and growing with them and walking beside them. Validation is powerful. I know that's what I've been longing for. And I know it's a universal desire. So let's build this together, friends. Let's cultivate connection in a world of disconnection by intentionally feeling with others, validating where they're at, and listening to them. And then power of connection, number three. Give them a hug. There was so much power in the physical, physical interaction. Give them a hug. <laughs> There's nothing more validating I've found in my life. It's giving someone a hug. It's almost like a <laughs> handshake. Hey, I'm with you. Big hug. Feeling embraced is big. And the only way to cultivate these things, friends, is feeling connected and being connected with Father. He's the source of all empathy, the greatest listener, and the one who embraces us on our worst days. I can't give what I haven't received. So if you haven't received, <laughs> you won't be a good giver of these things. So the key, having him as your source, receiving those things from him, and then you can be a conduit of those same things. Hope this is encourages you. Hope it fosters connection within your communities, within the groups, the circles you walk with. May we be connectors by showing empathy, listening deeply to the details, not to answer, but just to be with someone and hear in their heart. And thirdly, giving them a hug. Let's be the change in our society, friends. I love you guys.